ओम शांति बाबा गिव्स मी माय इंट्रोडक्शन दैट आई एम ए प्योर सोल and played the part as an angel at confluence sage first as a brahman to sustain the yagya with power of purity spiritual love but also through my pure thoughts words and actions body and all other resources by serving yagya i then serve as a angel to fly and reach wherever power of love power of peace any power is needed an angel can only reach true thoughts pure thoughts peaceful thoughts loveful thoughts and helping the soul with god's love and then baba has given us aim you become angel to deity deity is the image of divinity as the first creation of god on this world drama stage and i instill this little image of a brahman a student and server and an angel as messenger and karma yogi as a deity bestower so i have to invoke i have to nurture this image within my own self if i live the life of a brahman and then serve as a angel and bestow as a deity invoking and nurturing happens by looking at my own self as eternal self as original self i keep pure feelings and bhavana towards my own 
self. As much I keep this bhavna or feelings towards my own self, and nurture this image the awareness of my eternal and original self helps me to have attitude drishti my words, action from that image. So it's in the morning at Amrit Vila before sleeping, whenever it's possible. Just nurture your own image and feel that Baba is nurturing, sustaining the image within you. As much I nurture, I become complete, but also serve from that stage. when we come to Baba. We were touched by this truth about my own self. But on the journey, sometimes I forget, I could doubt my own self. But Baba keeps reminding me, who am I? What is my part? And Baba keeps nurturing. So as I become pure, I become victorious. Not influenced by Maya. Then this image of the self emerges in a beautiful way. So now is the time for us to nurture this image of complete purity, of love, of divinity. As much I nurture, sustain it. The pure feelings my own, for my own self remain emerged. Because it's towards the end of confluence age.
I have to keep these feelings of the self consistently. So that when I complete my journey of this life, my awareness about my own true self is complete. So then I return home and come back to this world again to serve the world in a different way. Now I take Drishti from Baba and instill, look at my inner self, the image of eternal being, original being. As Baba is ever pure, Baba is purifying. I soul also, like Baba. Completely pure. and create the sense cards of divinity. हमें याद है ब्रह्मा बाबा के साथ जब हम आबू में आए ना पहले पहले तो आबू में इतनी रश नहीं होती थी ये सीजन वगैरह जो आते हैं गेस्ट बन करके अभी सीजन में वो नहीं थे टूरिस्ट थे ही नहीं और ये नकी लेख भी इतनी बनी हुई नहीं थी एक किनारा सरब बना हुआ था तो हम जब आए थे तो उन दिनों में ब्रह्मा बाबा के साथ हम बहुत पैदल चक्कर लगाया ये जो पहाड़ियां है ना ऊंची ऊंची उसमें भी ब्रह्मा बाबा के साथ हम गए हैं बाबा को बहुत वो रुचि होती थी बच्चों को घुमाने की जहां तहां बाबा साथ ले चलता था इतने तक जो हम ऊपर से नीचे पैदल गए बाबा के साथ और आप सोचो बाबा के साथ जब गए होंगे तो बाबा ने रास्ते में कितना बहलाया होगा हमारे साथ ग्रामोफोन भी था रिकॉर्ड भी थे वो बीच बीच में जब थोड़ा थक जाते थे ना पैदल तो बाबा वहां खड़े होकर के पिकनिक भी कराते थे 
डांस भी कराते थे किनारे में जंगल जंगल तो है अभी तो फिर भी अच्छा है तो बाबा पैदल हम लोगों को नीचे तक ले गए थे हम दो रात रहे थे नीचे एक स्कूल में फिर ऊपर पैदल आए थे तो बाबा सब जगह जाते थे तो दिल वाला मंदिर है ना वहां भी बाबा के साथ हम गए हैं अचल घर है ना ऊपर वहां तक भी बाबा के साथ पैदल गए और बाबा ऐसे चलता था बाबा का लंबाई है ना चित्र में आपने देखा होगा तो बाबा की टांगे तो ऊंची थी ना तो बाबा चलने में बहुत फास्ट था जानबूझ के बाबा क्या करता था पहले कहता था बच्चे तुम आगे चलो मैं बैकबोन हूं ना मैं देख रहा हूं कौन कौन कैसे चल रहा है तुम आगे चलो तो हम आगे चलते थे बाबा पीछे आता था फिर बीच में क्या करता था बाबा तो जल्दी कदम उठाता था ना हम लोग फिर भी ऐसे ऐसे चलते थे बाबा तो फास्ट तो बाबा क्या करता था बीच में ही आगे चले जाता था फर्स्ट नंबर में वहां खड़े होके कहता था सब बच्चे ठीक है अच्छे है थके तो नहीं है दृष्टि देते थे तो बाबा दिलवाला मंदिर में भी हमारे साथ गए तो जब दिलवाला मंदिर में ये मूर्ति देखी ना दिलवाला की है ना मूर्ति तो बाबा कहता था देखो ये कौन है तुम यहां देख रहे हो साकार में यहां चित्र देख रहे हो दिल वाला तो आप भी ऐसे ही अपनी तकदीर की तस्वीर देखते रहना सामने बस मैं ये जाके बन नहीं है क्योंकि भगवान ने हमको वरदान दिया है भगवान ने हमारी को तकदीर बना के दी है तो बाबा को अपना कृष्ण का छोटा रूप बहुत याद रहता था तो बाबा कहता था समझो बाबा अमृत वेले उठा है तो कोई कोई बहने ऐसे स्पेशल बाबा से गुड मॉर्निंग करने जाती थी तो गुड मॉर्निंग करने के बाद बाबा कहता था देखो मैं गदी पर बैठा हूं ना बाबा के पांडव भवन में कमरे में देखा होगा ना गद्दी बिछी हुई है तो बाबा कहता था देखो टांग बाबा हमेश बैठता था ना ऐसे टांग टांग पर ऐसे तके पर वो रख करके और टांग टांग पर चढ़ा करके ऐसे बैठता था तो बाबा कहता था देखो मेरे को अपना ये जो छोटा रूप है ना श्री कृष्ण का वो सामने दिखाई देता है और मैं ऐसे ही समझता हूं जैसे ये शरीर एक ड्रेस है ना अभी मेरी ये ड्रेस बुजुर्ग की है ब्रह्मा बाबा की और मैं सामने जैसे ऐसे देखता हूं जैसे खूटी पर कोई ड्रेस लटक रही होती है ना और बस ये पहनना है ऐसे मैं भी देखता हूं कि अभी मेरी बुजुर्ग ड्रेस है बस कल जा करके ये जो ड्रेस लटक रही है ना सामने तुम देखती हो ये ड्रेस नहीं लटक रही है बस ये जाके पहनेंगे तो बाबा को बिल्कुल एकदम सामने इमर्ज था कि मुझे क्या बनना है इतना ही क्लियर हम लोगों को भी ये हो हम ब्रह्मांड सो फ्रिश्ता फ्रिश्ता सो देवता ओम शांति 
So each one of you, each one of us, looked at my own self, inner self, in the form of original self, in this divine form. As uh, Dadi Gulzar was sharing her experience that how Brahma Baba always had this intoxication and he saw in very emerged form the next form, the next birth will be divine birth. So all of us, oh, I think you were able to reflect and see within yourself this little idol, divine image, because we all are on journey and with our purity, with our accumulation of elevated actions and our nature, you have to complete journey right in short time. So you are able to see this inner self in that original self, as original self, like eternal self, I think we did experience and, you know, we nurtured that also. But now is original self, because from eternal self, when I return home, in that stage, complete state, then I would come back here on drama stage to play part in my original self. I just want you, as I said while in meditation, that have this bhavna for you, pure feelings for you. Because it's not what my imagination is, but Baba has told me. And it touched us, right, when we came to Baba. One of the things which touched us very much was about soul, about God and also our future, new world. But Baba has given us this time now to emerge it. Because in then emerge form, then we have to use our thoughts, words and action. So I found this way that when, you know, you have to, or we do in temples or at home, we install an idol of a goddess or God. Then invocation happen, but after invocation, then you have to worship it every day. I remember it was compulsory. If you have any kind of idol, then in the morning you have to worship, in the evening you have to worship. And some will do even during day. If mothers are at home, they will also do it during day. So that the invocation of life, invocation of power happens in those idols. And you will be surprised that sometimes that invocation in the beginning is for three days, four days. Once I, I was invited, they had uh, somewhere near, they had brought a very, very beautiful idol of Hanuman you know, because they believe that he is also one of the God. And uh, for two, three days, the invocation in which they you know, they brought it with the, of the stone. And you have seen Hanuman with saffron color. So they bring that saffron color as a paste and they keep putting, keep singing, keep putting. So invocation in that. And same is as much you worship that idol, then you start creating that relationship with that idol. You can talk, you express your desires, I mean, that's how it's reality is like that. Like, you know, we have Baba's room. So in front of us, we have Baba's picture. So as many times we go, then we offer bhog in the 
Baba's room and so the relationship is formed, right? So now that has to be done with the self because I have to invoke now this original self and by invoking it and then also have very, very pure feelings towards your that original self as much you have bhavna and also I had many times like Baba invited me uh, to have dinner sometimes or breakfast with Mama and Baba and the way Baba will feed the body because soul doesn't need food right and body cannot accept without soul offering it so the way Baba used to eat, of course, his first thought was, Shri Baba is my companion. So I'm sitting with Baba and eating in remembrance of Baba. But sometimes Baba also used to say that I am feeding this deity in me. I'm feeding this angel. Angels doesn't eat, but deities they offer. So one of the practice which I would suggest to immerse these feelings. Mm -hmm. How many of you feel, even for a few moments, maybe not days, about your original self that you were dating? Can I see hands? Mm -hmm. Okay, those who don't feel, <laughs> mm -hmm. then they have to start, right? If you have faith in Baba, then whatever Baba is saying for you is in your fortune. So, I always had this feeling, always like little angel, little deity. First you are Brahmin, becoming angel, then becoming deity. So this inner internally instill this in you. Because of course, when we look at picture of Lakshmi Narayan, but then sometimes our attention go, go more into what they're wearing, what jewelry they have, and crown and all that. But when you see it within, you see it in a different divine, in a very, very beautiful way. Because when you have this bhavna towards you, your feelings will change and a big transformation will happen in you. Where you will find in your, in your attitude, in your drishti, and then one of the practice Baba once gave in few, in one of the Murli, that within the family, Brahmin family also, look at everyone with that much love and respect because you are loving and respecting not what that soul is at present, but knowing what is the future of that soul. That is why when we take Drishti from Baba, because his Drishti is on our stage of perfection. Mm -hmm. So that is why you, when you sit in front of Baba Tegrishti, then our, you know, that self, original, eternal, emerges taking Drishti from Baba. That I think we all have experience. So same will happen with you. you know, like from time to time, emerge this and look at others also. That this soul is an angel, this soul is a deity soul. And I think that it will be such a good service and will help that soul also to have that self-respect. That's the cooperation or service we can do within the family also. So emerge this form, feeling. Because we have few days now to work on that. And as I said that uh, we don't worship but we could emerge that self, look at that inner self. And now is the time really to also create sanskars. We hmm? only thinking about past sanskars. And what about cultivating sanskar? So what type of sanskars we have to create? Deity sanskars. Hmm? So today I will talk about two qualities hmm? which are emerging and will be in our lives. One is truth. Because purity 
is where you love truth. And when you are truthful, then everything around you, you will find that in a very, very natural way, others will also speak truth. As much I become truth, truth in the sense of I am as I am, as a Brahmin, as an angel, as a deity, the true self in that image. So truth, because internally you feel very, very light when you are truthful. You know, there is uh, one thing Baba says in Morley, that when you are truthful, you keep dancing. Such the Veto Nach. There is a Sindhi word, such the Veto Nach. That means you can keep dancing when you are truthful. Because internally, like you are so free, and then you are so carefree. So, truth is one of the important quality. And then, second, of course, with the truth is wisdom. Why I'm using word wisdom here? Because everyone has knowledge, but everyone is not wise. Even in applying knowledge, you do it in a sensible way, practical way, in a real way. And what keeps coming to you is your wisdom keeps advancing. It's more and more clear. Wisdom is something where anything you do is in a very sensible way, balanced way, proper way. Dadi Janki gives many examples when she said there was some, some quarrel was happening in her neighbor's home. So it was loud and then became little violent. So police came and they were asking neighbors and came to Dadi. Did you hear all that? Did you see Dadi? said, no, I was meditating and it was true too. But then also Dadi said that now, on one side, truth. Truth means, okay, you say, yes, I did. Hmm? Yes, I did it. But other is non-involvement. Means it's, it's happening. Hmm? It's a little bit uh, to understand that how sometimes if we are not wise enough hmm, and say, I have to speak truth, right? So then what happens? It's a quality which has to be used in a very wise way, not cunning way, not in a clever way, but a wise way. A wise person will know where, what to say, what to speak, when to speak, even when it comes to truth. Truth is truth, but sometimes we think truth more on a factual way. Factual means, did you see it? So if I have seen it, I have to say yes. But if you are wise, many, many I have seen Baba's children in their life the way they have lived, they are living their life in family or with job and with their whatever responsibilities they have, but they live in a very wise way. Because then whatever they do, they find the solutions in everything. Not that they themselves get caught up. Their intellect is always very clear. And it's not falsehood, what I'm saying, that it's not the telling lies. So wise person will not hurt anyone, but also will not be hurt. 
will not deceive anyone, but will not be deceived also. See, if you are deceived every time when you say, because I was so honest, I was so truthful, not a good story though, of truth, right? The story of this truth or any virtue should be such where you achieve what has to be achieved, but in a yeah, wise way. You spoke in a wise way, applied, applying knowledge also. No, Baba says there is a time you should have balance in your life. So most of the people say 50-50. So I said balance here is not 50-50, but is to integrate. While doing physical, remember Baba, while doing everything for family also, serve the yajna. So 50-50 now, Lokik always, when it comes to family job, it's always more hours, right? But even in those hours, if you are integrating, have remembrance, <clears throat> doing service. So if we sensibly look at everything, and that is why all this is connected with purity. As much you are internally very pure, you're clean, you have love for everyone, then you inter then automatically whatever you will say, it won't hurt anyone, but also you won't hurt yourself. So truth really is where you are very free. You know you have been, you're not doing anything, as I said, which hurt others or even hurt yourself. Sometimes we, uh, for sake of others, we suppress things inside. It gets accumulated, but that's not good also. So how do we then use uh, Baba's remembrance and apply knowledge so I could be truthful, but in a, in, because I am wise, right? Where you're not causing sorrow to anyone, you're not hurting anyone. But you shouldn't be causing sorrow to yourself. So, of course, this has more details. We can reflect on that. But two important qualities, truth and wisdom. Because one time Dadi Prakash Mani said in a public program in Gansarova, in my life I have not lied even single time. In public, she said it. And it's true. Because when there is truth, there is love for God, you don't need to lie. But she was very, very wise. That is how she was able to help Yagya, sustain Yagya, manage Yagya. There was a lot of expansion. Because she had very clear principles in life. You know, like uh, politicians will come, elections. We need this much money or that he will say, no, I, I can help to build the roads. I can help to build a new cremation place. That's what was built during Daddy's time. I will can do everything, but we don't give money. So there was a principle. So she didn't need it to lie. But she said, no, we will keep to our principle. So in our lives also internally, if we are very clear, of our principles, you are able to maintain truth. But then again, with these acting based on these principles, help us to be 
very wise in the sense of balanced, sensible, where there's no suffering for yourself or you are cause of suffering for anyone. Because that's something very, very important that we don't hurt anyone's feeling, which I think we all did because of not knowing what is truth, what is honesty. But as we become wise, mature, we know that we can say same things, but in a very, very constructive way, in a very positive way, or the way Baba explains us about same, same principles. So it doesn't show force, doesn't show as pressure, but it comes from a lot of love, God's love. And when you're doing anything with God's love, that soul will be inspired, will be empowered, and would just want to do it and will be able to do it. But by being forceful or putting pressure, I don't think that soul will get any strength. And if that one doesn't get strength, won't be able to do it, then you will be disappointed. That soul will be disappointed. So whatever time now we have in our uh, this uh, Baba's children as Bhikkhi life, Brahmin life, think about truth and wisdom and inculcate uh, so that it shows through our, our chart, our activity, our relationships, or anything what we do. Because as we heard that, we have to continue uh, to do actions until the end as a karma yogi. But then on the other side, we are also becoming a deity. So this transformation in you will make you believe more and more in your own self. That I was deity. That's what my original self is. That's how the world began. And this is how I am going to play my part. It will become very, very easy for you with these feelings. And then you will feel the changes in you through this awareness. Because that's what really want that when there is awareness, then it manifests in our thinking, in our speaking, in our drishti, in our interaction. And that becomes real experience, right? It's not only in awareness, but it's visible through our uh, practical life, through our nature, our words, our image, everything, right? So think more about these two qualities. Reflect it and be more clear. And if you have any questions, like, okay, how, how is that possible? So it's really that wisdom is coming from your pure heart. The solution to find way to deal with that thing. Because when you have love for everyone and you want to help everyone, one who is creating problem, one is going through that, you have to help both souls, right? You can say, no, that one is causing problems, so I don't worry about that. But how do you stay in good relationship with that soul also who is causing difficulty? Mm -hmm. So wise people know how to maintain such relationships and always, always internally are very, very clear because of their truth inside. Truthful love with everyone. Because that's why they say God is truth, right? So reflect on this and let nurture your original self in the morning, while you are eating, maybe in the evening, before sleeping. Because mm -hmm. those who have done some worshipping every night, uh, before we will go sleep, we will make these idols, also wrap them in velvet blankets and make them sleep. In my Lokik home, we had a very big temple with so many idols, big, small, and every night, that's what the big thing to make them sleep. 
so inside yourself okay now your deity self is going to rest last night for two hours maybe between 2 to 3 30 or 4 i had very beautiful it's like i just felt it's like heaven it's like really heaven so i thought maybe we were talking about uh, deity so start feeling cool breeze and every part of my body was like very very light and pure and no pain nothing it was so beautiful feelings even from the body so i thought that's very good so every evening maybe when we are talking about this we will have many good experiences night time early morning during day so take advantage and i'm sure you will nurture your own original self also om shanti family welcome back today i will tell you the country's name by dancing now you know that we are going to brazil in two places sao paulo and sirana Let's go! 